everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this week I am featuring a friend. Now how did I meet this person? Quite accidentally. Not really. Let me tell you about it. So a while ago I had a student and they have a dentist mom and she works with another dentist and they were talking and saying oh my child goes for lessons etc and that is how I came across this mom she wanted me to give her child lessons to so I gave her child a few lessons and shortly after that I don't know we'll ask her how that happened but she got inspired to do songwriting and suddenly picked up a guitar and wanted to learn how to play piano and she is so talented so please meet my friend Amanda Welcome, my lovely people. <laughs> so I hope that doesn't describe anything about you, but that's my first thing I knew about you is coming to your house to yes. do lessons with for your daughter. Yeah. Yeah, with Mahtalia. So in the meantime, so how did it happen that you decided to start singing, start playing piano and guitar? How did that inspiration well, start? Well, I love singing since a little girl. I remember I come from Namibia and we had this big stoop. And I used to imagine that it was my stage <laughs> and all the, all the flowers were the people that I was singing to. And I loved singing, and then, um, but I always had a fear of singing. So when I was on stage at school rehearsals and stuff, then um, I was scared. And then fast forward many years, there was actually a period of 11 years that I didn't sing. I used to sing in our church's worship bands and then I got married and then I thought, no, I'm not good enough. And then I just stopped and had children and was busy. And then middle last year, I just really, it's when a crisis happens and then you spend time with the Lord and then you reignited my passion for singing. And um, so, and then I also realized that I was struggling with fear. So I redoubled the fear. And then as soon as the fear was sorted, I couldn't stop singing <laughs> and I remember it um, I just felt that depressed record on my cell phone and then wow I just spontaneously started singing and um, and that's where it happened and I had lots of dreams that I was um, yeah, helping women working with women and with music and then after that I wrote this song the echo of fear but I was so frustrated with myself because I didn't know any chords I knew this is the melody this is the words my husband, he can play piano very well. And um, so he helped me and he's very good with programming and software. So he did all the backtrack for me. And then I thought, why not start learning an instrument? <laughs> and I went into Paul Botner's, today I'm going to buy a guitar. <laughs> so I remember I came over, the, I had the practice and he's like, it's so funny, she dreamt the previous night, I'm going to come here with a guitar. She didn't know I was going to go pull partner, and here I was standing with a guitar. And, um, and I just asked them, listen, who can they recommend? And they gave me Stefan's number, and I organized with Stefan. And so that was September last year that it just started. I thought, you're never too old. I'm 37 now, I'm never too old to learn. And this is what I want to do and have to do, and um, do it with the Lord. And... Um, and I saw how Magdalene loves playing piano with you and I thought, well, God, <laughs> here I am. I knew I, I'm, I'm, and then we just did the one song after the next, after the next. Obviously, there's a lot of room of improvement and um, I didn't know anything of what is a course or what is a structure. So I did um, two online um, courses so far oh. and um, I had some help with our, um, I mean, our Doxa Deus worship band and I had a few sessions with Francois just giving my ideas, um, running with a few songs that I wrote and I just want to inspire other women and I realized that no matter how much time has passed or no matter what happened in life, God can use all of that for His glory and um, so yeah, so as that's, long as you're available as long as you're available as well and that's, yeah, and that's why I thought, well, why not try the piano as well and, and I'm enjoying it, fantastic <laughs> 
Okay, so you mentioned your age. Thank you mm. very much. I, was gonna, I wasn't sure if I am allowed to say how old you are. And um, I know you've got two children. Yes. And you're running a business from home as well. You've got a dino dent, um, dentistry yeah. that you run from home. Yes. Where do you get time where <laughs> to practice, to sing? Yeah. How does it come to you? How's your structure? Yeah, well, it's, it's a challenge. I must be honest, a challenge style management. Um, I'm fortunate in the sense that because I work from home, so my guitar is there in the living room. If there's a cancellation, then I quickly pick it up and play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I practice in between, and in and also because my children um, are at school, and sometimes I don't have patience. A lot of times it's more afternoons that we're busy, so there's time that I can practice. Um, and I've also um, from next. Well, it's July next week actually. Um, so next week we are going to change a little bit things in my practice. So I have Aniska, the mom that told me about you. Yes, yeah. So she has been locating for me for two years, um, odd morning here and an odd afternoon there. But then I had to, he had to practice every day, either a morning or afternoon. And then that other time I would use for practicing if I wasn't with my children. Uh, but now we're going to make it that I only work Mondays and Wednesdays and Friday mornings. I'm okay. going to be off the whole Tuesday and the whole Thursday. Wow. So in, in the, the morning, morning so days. yes, <laughs> and I'm going to spend time with my children as well. So the afternoons we're going to keep with my kids and getting them to swimming and all the <laughs> extra activities. Yeah. And in the other mornings we um, keep, I'm going to keep for um, yeah, writing songs and singing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, what I love about you, Amanda, you've got, you always are positive and you seem to be, have such a zeal for life. You seem to be, um, when you're excited, everybody knows about it. You give <laughs> out a shriek. I've seen it lots of times with the piano, especially if you get something right. You just like scream. It's so exciting for me that it's just, uh, it's bubbling out of yeah. you. It's fantastic. And I know you've got such a, um, a good heart that you want to do for other people. You want to help other people. And I think this came about with your um, DOH, Daughters of yes. Dasa. Yes. So can you tell the people more about it? Because I want to link your, your Facebook account, yes. etc. So again, it's God inspired. <laughs> um, if I must give you the amount of dreams that I had, I'll speak all day. Wow. Um, so it was his calling on my life. And um, so a little bit about myself. I used to have bulimia as a teenager and I really struggled with my image and, and anxiety and um, feeling of not being good enough. And I actually, I was my biggest enemy, not by failure, uh, fear of failure, mm -hmm. all right? I struggled with that and how God healed me from that. And I knew long ago, like, nine years ago that I wanted to work with women, I wanted to use it in some way. And so I was pregnant with Magdalene and we had a contact, her name was Dawn Rueda in Karlsruhe. And she knew um, matric goals and they didn't have any funding for a matric farewell. And I got the friends involved and everyone knew a friend and we, um, so I organized with them an event for the matric goals and we pampered them, did their nails, and um, everyone had an old dress from a, a varsity farewell. So we had lots of gowns that they could choose from. Mm -hmm. And I think it was 50 or 60 people. It was a big event wow. that uh, we um, got the AGS church there in that area. We used their venue that Saturday. And I, I, think, I remember after that, I said, God, I can do this again. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I also told them this, my story, obviously I didn't have the music then, but I just chatted to them and tried to inspire them. That's always been my passion to inspire other girls. Mm -hmm. so it's never too late and you ne should never give up hope. And that's always also where my mom came in. I remember my mom also they always said, and she's still alive, and she always said, never, ever give up. Never. That was a, that was a words, go, 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 <laughs> make them go. Um, so yeah, so that's my passion to help others. And, and then I had children and I started the dental practice. So I didn't have any time for that. And uh, as I said, since last, middle last year, I got inspired again. So what we do is, um, and again, it's other moms that come to the practice that I start chatting and then they get involved. Um, so we've had two events so far. And I've had an outreach at school. 
So my passion is we go to an area like the Zola. We went to every nation church in Zola. And they invited women, it's always women and teenagers. So they invited women from the area. Um, and I feel that we are all, no matter where we are in life, we can help each other. Yeah. That's true. And um, so, and then worship is my passion. And then I would sing a few songs for them that uh, I wrote with God and I also got their worship team involved so they start with their songs that they know and their band was amazing. Um, and then um, all the ladies there, um, we started washing each other's hands and follow COVID protocols, um, obviously, um, and then just wash their hands and then I would, I would, we had kits with creams and I made um, our own scrubs just with sugar and oil and a little bit of essence um, and just pamper the ladies. Yeah. And then I would instantly wash your hands and then um, someone else would see it and okay now you're going to wash her hands. And yeah. that's also the act of service yeah. so it's not just me washing but we and then and I also had a, a scriptures um, about identity, who we are in Christ, and our beauty, and His love for us as daughters. And then I would, for instance, read it onto you while someone else is washing your hands. Okay. And so that's the idea of just showing love for each other. Um, I mean, a lot of the women come from very disadvantaged communities. They don't have sanitary pads, they don't have toiletries. So then we also um, ask around for friends and um, people at the practice or wherever for donations um, and then we try and give each lady a gift bag. There's usually a soap and a face cloth and um, sanitary pads and a roll on something like that in the okay. gift bag to try and bless them. Yeah. Um, and so just to try and inspire them and give them hope yeah. and show love. So yeah, that's... Um, what we do, and I went to Nomzamu High School, and they have a program for um, pregnant teenage girls. So I had a session with them, either girls that's recent give, given birth or that's pregnant, and just to try inspire them. And then I also spoke to them about um, my, I had postnatal depression with my daughter, and the, how God walked with me, and, and that you're not alone. <laughs> Um, and just, just to give them hope again um, from that experience as well. And um, so yeah, so that's Daughters of Adasa. Adasa meaning it's the Hebrew word of Esther. And if you look in the Bible, Esther was a beautiful person, yes. but she was a woman of noble character yeah. and she had boldness to go to the king and to stand up for her, um, for her, um, the, her people. And because of her, the, you know, they were saved. And I believe we are all daughters of Hadassah, daughters of God. And that's what I'm trying to tell them, no matter what's happened in your life, no matter what's done to you, where you are, you're still God's, you, if you're still yeah. God's daughter and you can still make a difference. And that's why I, I let the women at an event wash each other's hands as well, so that they can feel they can make a difference no matter where they are. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful. And now, um, I mean, if there's any of my viewers that are interested to get involved um, in a donation way or whatever, you are welcome to contact Amanda di uh, directly. I will leave all her contact details, her uh, WhatsApp number, her Facebook account, whatever she has. <laughs> yeah. um, her, and uh, I mean, you can see that this is a person that likes to do good um, and that li likes to help other people, especially younger women, and um, just give them hope you know, in this world that we're living in. So I think that's such a noble cause. So Amanda, are you open for people contacting you? Please. <laughs> and then you can direct Yes, yes, yeah. Button. We have a, a Facebook page, um, and then we have a specific Daughters of Adasa WhatsApp group that we tell people about events, um, or what's happening. So if they want to be part, we can always make the circle bigger. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And then something else happened uh, to you recently. Somebody con uh, con uh, contacted you, was yes. it via the Daughters of Adasa? Yes, via the Daughters of and, and then they asked you a question about a competition or something about your singing. Can yeah. you just tell us more about that? Yes, um, so ja yeah, it was early January. Um, I saw an advert or something on Facebook about this Raising Royalty group. Um, and I did. Look, they had an online course, it was free, um, and it was amazing. The, the guy's name is Benji Alexander. And then somewhere there, we chatted and I told them about um, the group, the Daughters of Adasa group, 
the, the idea that we have, or the, pro, um, the group that we are starting. And then the one lady, I can't remember her name, um, can't remember that I chatted to her either. <laughs> she, she was inspired and she started following the Daughters of Adassa Facebook group. And so I'm on the Raising Royalty, that Facebook page, but I'm busy and <laughs> I didn't have time again to do another course. I actually saw the advert of the competition about two months ago. And then I was wondering and I thought, no, I don't have time, I'll leave it. I like your words <laughs> that you said you were not after fortune and yes, fame. Yes, fortune and fame. So she yeah. don't, you know, her singing was yeah. not. So um, you, you, you didn't actually have a thought in yes. doing it. Yeah. So I, I left it and I didn't do it. And then she contacted me. She's from New Zealand. It was, I think, beginning of last week or so. And she said, no, but God brought me to mind. And do I know about the competition? And I said, well, yes, I, I saw it, but I didn't think, you know, that my singing is for fame and fortune and she said no but I must think it and well it's not from me so if God can use this to reach women from wherever in New Zealand to inspire them and give them hope then why not so so I'm busy with the competition we are in round two um, and I've entered the song called Mirror Mirror on the Wall and then probably I'm not sure a big time difference it's either Sunday night or Monday morning our time then they will re reveal the next, the third round. So I'm not sure if, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to go into the next round, but then every week uh, when there's another round, you must do something else. Okay. So, um, so yeah. Sure. So that on top of everything else, but that's quite exciting, you know, because that is not something that you asked for. I did. It just came your way and yes. you'll see where it takes and it is yes. by. And, yeah. and, and I suppose we can be involved as well there by voting for you. Yes, so yes. I'll have to put the link yeah. for that as yeah. well, just yeah. to give um, the people the opportunity yes. to go and please. watch your program. <laughs> your program yeah. and, 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 so. and it's so inspiring to watch all the other people um, on there. I can't help but go and vote for them as well <laughs> and like it. Yeah. There's from artists because it's talent got a Christian talent competition. So there's from people art artistic and there's dancing, there's poetry and there's women making the most beautiful bags and it's so inspiring. So and, and I actually it led me to my second song that if I if I get through I'm going to do that next week. Um, it's called Giant Slaves Arise. I started the beginning lot beginning of this year because that course that they did was also Giant Slaves. Um, and it's the idea that um, we all, we have all been called by God, but sometimes life happens or fear, and that's the giants that yeah. distract you from your calling. Yeah. Um, and so I started this song, but I got frustrated, and then I just left it. <laughs> and now in the competition, I realized, wow, this is why I'm here. And if we all do what God has called us to be, imagine the the yeah. impact. And that yeah. is what we do. Just do what. That passion, that whatever talent God gave you, yeah. what's laid on your heart, it lays in your heart that excites you, and yeah. singing and making music. Wow, that really excites me. <laughs> so I'm doing what I have to do, and so um, so I've, I've I've been working on that song, and and it's and I can't wait just to sing it over people to say, listen, never give up on your dreams, never give up on God-given dreams, and. Um, with with the with the string from God, no matter what you're dealing with, you can conquer it. You know. So, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, um, Amanda, we've asked you to possibly sing that song, Mirror Mirror. Yes. That's the one. Yes. So I'll can you just um, tell us why you wrote that mm. song and what is it basically yes. about? So as I've told you about my eating disorder as a teenager, and I used to always stand in front of a mirror, and then I would stand like this and pull in the tummy like that, and do the hair like that, and yeah, <laughs> obsession of how I looked. And um, and I've always wanted to tell my testimony. And last year I realized the best testimony is a song. Yes. So I've always wanted to sing a song about it. And it was earlier this year when I had flu and I had time just to stand with the Lord and book. I love it when I'm sick, then I can really yeah. be creative. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was laying, lying in bed and then the words started coming to me and I started writing. Um, but I also had laryngitis, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't speak a word. I had to go like this, I beat. And so, so I, had, I had the melody lying in my head and I had to wait for a week before I could actually speak and sing. But I just started writing the words. and. Um, 
So that's my testimony, and, um, and it's, I let my daughter sing it with me as well, the chorus, um, so of the one outreach in Zola, she sang it with me, and that's my dream that every girl, when she looks in the mirror, see God's reflection, her true beauty shows God's reflection, and yeah, that's the song. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much. And thank you for having me. My <laughs> pleasure. Thank you, Rebecca. It follows Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. She got 